a safe environment that we enjoy the company. And I remember our brothers and sisters in Syria who have been facing this brutal regime for 18 months. This ongoing killing regime of Bashar al-Assad that has never stopped for 18 months. Bashar al-Assad is using air forces to bomb Halab, Aleppo and Damascus. And the whole world is watching. As we all know, the fighter jets have been bombing Aleppo and Damascus and Homs and Dara'a for the last two months now. Bashar al-Assad has decided with the help of Iran, Hezbollah and Russia, unfortunately, to use full force against the Syrian people. But guess what? The Syrian people are determined that they will finish this revolution with a success to bring the worst regime on earth down and to build a free and democratic Syria. <laughs> Syria that has equal rights for everyone, for Muslims, for Christian, for Alawi, for all ethnic groups, Arab, Kurds, that is Syria that we are looking for, not Syria Bashar al-Assad. Syria has no last name. Syria is for its own citizens. As we all know so far, 28,000 people have been killed. Two million people have left their homes in Syria. 200,000 200, refugees, 250 in prison and the world is still watching. We know that Russia and China have decided to paralyze the international communities with three vehicles so far. We have no doubt they will continue to do that. We all heard our President Obama, and by the way I have a great respect to the President, and I think he's a very good person and has a great values. But he made a speech two weeks ago, warning Bashar al-Assad, if he uses chemical weapons, then U.S. will intervene. I'm not saying our president sent the wrong message to Bashar al-Assad, but I have to say Bashar al-Assad understood that as a green light to use all kinds of weapons to kill everybody. On the same day of the president's speech, Bashar al-Assad slaughtered 280 people. Just 10 days ago, that was the bloodiest day ever since the start of the revolution where 440 people were slaughtered in the area, Damascus suburb. So I asked our president to make another speech and to warn Bashar al-Assad with the same language that if he does not stop using air forces, the United States would intervene. Unfortunately, this is the only language that Bashar Assad understands. We have tried political sanctions, economic sanctions, didn't work for 18 months. I read a lot about all comments and say about sanctions when they said, let's wait until the sanctions bite. Very good. How long are we going to wait? Bashar Assad used to kill 20, 30 people a day. Now he's killing 200, 300, sometimes 400. He's using fighter jets, helicopters, to bring buildings down in every single city, and the whole world is watching. We can keep saying that we're going to go back to United Nations Security Council, but we know it's not going to work. We know that there are 130 people, friends of Syrian people. And I have a question, how can you be friends of Syrian people and you're watching us slaughter and you're not doing anything to help us? If you are really a friend of Syrian people, we ask all these countries to take immediate action, real action, not condemnation, to stop the violence in Syria. Every massacre we hear that we use the strongest language possible to condemn the crime. But, well, thank you very much, but that's not enough. We have a real solution to stop the bloodshed in Syria. Yes, we want no fly zone. This is the only solution. We want to arm the free Syrian army with effective, effective weapons to stop the airstrikes. Thank you. Um, um, we know that the free Syrian army, those are free fighters that refuse to kill their own people. And we know, without the leadership, 
Without the leadership of the United States and our president, nothing will happen. We talked to everyone. We talked to the Saudi Arabia, to Qatar, to Turkey. They said we want the leadership and the green light from the United States to apply no fly zone and to provide effective weapons to the free Syrian army. So we asked the government here, our administration, to give the weapons to well vetted people from the Syrian army. Uh, finally, I want just on behalf of the Syrian American Council and the uh, coalition of uh, democratic Syria to thank everyone. Uh, this coalition, we started working on the coalition six months ago and it's working very well with four organizations. And we found out that the only solution we can be stronger is to work with each other. I want to just recognize Dr. Talal Sumbali. Please stand up. Dr. Talal Sumbali is the president of Syrian American Council. Thank you for uh, all the good work. Uh, I want to recognize the chairman of the uh, Syrian Emergency Task Force, Dr. Khawam. Thank you, Dr. Khawam, for um, your effort in the coalition. And I want to thank Dr. Iyad Azra, also the chairman of uh, Syrian Expatriate, for his cooperation in the uh, coalition. And I want to thank Dr. Yahya Basha, he could not come, uh, the president of United for Free Syria, and Sister Munal Jindi, she is the chairman of United Free Syria. And thank you so much. God bless you all.